Welcome to another WML Document Platform screencast, a series of short videos in which I'll be demonstrating uh, particular features of WML print appliance products. In this screencast, I'm going to show how you can set up a queue to output to a Windows network share. So we're looking at the web interface of a PDF Plus here, and on this PDF Plus we've got no queues set up. So I'm going to add a new queue first. I'm going to call this share out and uh, we're going to choose share uh, and it asks me for uh, a destination share so I'm going to choose uh, we've got a number of shares which the uh, system can see and the one I'm going to choose here is uh, win share on a little ready NAS Netgear ready NAS uh, network attack storage box um, and this share doesn't need a username or a password and uh, I don't need to put in the server IP so that will work just like that okay um, so I can go ahead and add that queue and there it is uh, over here on the left uh, I've got the uh, a folder showing uh, a Windows Explorer showing that win share folder um, so if I just move this over a little bit we should see anything that appears in there so I'm just going to uh, go ahead and print a PDF through this queue. Uh, over here on the right we've got three little uh, icons. Uh, this one allows me to print a file onto the PDF Plus, onto the share out queue. So I'll click that. Let's take this first PDF Plus here. This is just some example print data I've got on the system. There it goes. And there's the file there. Um, you can see it's got a fairly long name. Uh, the name is, by default, it will have the date at the start of the file name, then the time, and then the, um, the name of the job which was taken from the file name. If I double click that, uh, there's the file. It's a sample uh, insurance document. And there it is. Uh, so let's close that down. Clear that one out of the way. So let's just uh, go ahead and uh, modify the file name settings. So if I you now go, go into the configuration screen for the share out queue, here it is. I go over to output here, and if I scroll down, I've got a few additional options. Um, up at the top here, I've got the um, the share type and the uh, share path uh, options which I filled in when I created the queue and then if I scroll a bit further down I've got the file name format so I'm going to take out the date you can see the file name format updates up here um, and I can even uh, add some additional uh, stuff in so I could put in the queue name I can then highlight that and move it around within that file name. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a subfolder onto that file name. Here's the subfolder. And you can see that shows up here as a slash. So if I'm as I move that subfolder up, it means that all my files are now going to go into a directory called share out, uh, which is the queue name and then the job name. So let's uh, let's save those settings. Let's close that. Scroll back up to the top of the screen. I'll go back to the queue list and we'll print another file through there. That will do. Now you can see it's created a share out folder here and inside there there is our file name. Now it's just got the time at the start and the name of the job have a look at that file. There we are, another example insurance document. So let's close that one down. And that completes this screencast on using Windows shares uh, as an output destination for a print queue on a WML document platform print appliance. Thank you very much for watching.